All right, we've got a big weekend of college football ahead. Lots of stuff to get into. So let's start with Iowa, Michigan. This is a huge, huge, huge put up or shut up game for Jim Harbaugh. I, I don't even want to think about what will happen to Harbaugh as far as fan reaction goes if they lose this game. But as it is, that's what I see happening. I think Iowa's defense is too good. I mean, you've got a Michigan offense that has really struggled with ball security playing an Iowa team that is predicated on great defense. I mean, Iowa under Kirk Ferentz is literally known for being a great defensive team and winning a lot of sluggish games. I can kind of see something along the lines of, say, 13-6 to in Ann Arbor on Saturday. You know? I mean, Michigan needs to stop being sloppy with the ball, and Jim Harbaugh needs to probably get a new offensive coordinator because Gaddis is not working out. Elsewhere in the SEC we go now where, oh, Tennessee is going to lose 48 to nothing to Georgia in the train wreck that is the Tennessee football program just keeps getting worse. Yesterday, Philip Fulmer basically ruled out any possibility of him uh, returning to the sidelines as the Tennessee football coach. I'm not going to lie. That was a popular theory of mine for quite some time now that Philip Fulmer was going to say, ah, uh, get and just fire F Jeremy Pruitt and take over himself, at least maybe for the rest of this year and possibly even for the future. But he has ruled that out. That does not mean it's impossible. We've seen people rule things out and then change their mind before, but I truly don't think Philip Fulmer now is going to be back on the Tennessee football sideline. And now we move back to the Big Ten. Michigan State, another offense in the Big Ten in the state of Michigan. That has really had trouble scoring, and oh boy, is that not going to be pretty for them. they got to go to play Ohio State, who's my number one team in the country right now. I think Ohio State is the best team in the country. If the playoff were played today, I'd pick Ohio State to win the championship. Unfortunately for the Buckeyes, the playoff is not being played this week, so they need to keep doing what they have been doing. I think they will. I think part of the issues were act that led to them getting blown out once a year, the last two years are more Urban Meyer things, and now that he's gone, I think Ohio State's going to stay the course. I think they're going to steamroll Michigan State, much like they did the last time in Columbus when it was 48-3 to two years ago. Yeah, I'm thinking something like that is most likely what's going to happen Saturday night. And now we go to the big game, Auburn and Florida in Gainesville. First time that they have played since 2011 because the SEC's scheduling system is crap. It is what it is. I was tempted to pick Florida here. You know, you got to go, it's great to be a Florida Gator, but it won't be great on Saturday because War Eagle is going to keep rolling. Auburn and Bo Nix are too good. Auburn's offense is looking as good as I can remember them being in a long time. I think Auburn is a team worth watching as a dark horse playoff and potentially even national title contender. I like Auburn to go into the swamp and take some of the bite out of the Gators. And now we're going to move on to some mid-major games this week. I got two of them that are big, UCF and Cincinnati. Despite the loss to Pitt, UCF is still in the running for the New Year's Six representative. However, they've got a very tough game on Friday night at Cincinnati. A lot of people, I think, kind of discarded Cincinnati as any sort of threat for the group of five spot in the New Year's Six after the Ohio State game. But Ohio State has looked like they're gonna beat a lot more teams by 40 than just Cincinnati. I think that, in hindsight, was just Ohio State's really good and not Cincinnati's really bad. I think Cincinnati really sent a message with last week. I mean, Marshall is a pretty solid Conference USA team, and Cincinnati went on the road and beat them 52-14. to 14. 
I like Cincinnati to pull the upset. I like Cincinnati to upset UCF and take UCF out of the top 25 and out of the running for the Group of Five New Year's Six spot, which could put another American Athletic Conference team in great position to benefit from a Boise State loss down the road. For the first time since they were called the Pony Express back in the 1980s, that was their nickname anyway, SMU is into the top 25 this week, and rightfully so. Led by Texas transfer quarterback Shane Buchel, the Mustangs are on a roll, and they're not going to slow down for a Tulsa team that's just flat out not good uh, this week. I like SMU to win easily. I think SMU, SMU has some tough games. They play at Houston. They play at Memphis later this year. They play Temple. Uh, I think SMU is better than all three of those teams right now. But Memphis is another team that's definitely in the running for the Group of Five spot in the New Year's Six. And so the SMU at Memphis game in particular will be worth watching, as will maybe even the SMU Tulane game later this year. The Group of Five New Year's Six race is about to get wild. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. I think there are many Group of Five teams, App State as well, that could even pull a shocker in the New Year's Six. Um... But I like SMU to keep rolling, and SMU-Memphis could very well be a top 25 game by the time it rolls around.